Hello Tokusatsu community and welcome back to my Soto Sunday series here on the Tokyo Toy Story YouTube channel. This is the series where I cover all of the latest Soto, Shoto, and Uniline figure news from Japan. This week, pretty light week. We didn't really have much on the Comrade end of things last weekend on the blog, but we do have a little bit of stuff to talk about this week for the final episode of 2021. So, let's go ahead and get right on into it. All we really had on the blog last weekend was an in-depth look at the newest Shoto X set, the one that has the Forza and Wizard characters, uh, since that just released in Japan here, but there was really no new information about that one to talk about, so we're really only going to cover what happened on the blog last night, which was finally Kamen Rider Solomon, one of the villain riders from Kamen Rider Saber, you know, who only appeared in a couple of episodes before being replaced as like the main villain of the show. and. We never got him during Saber's Soda Lime. They promised us a long time ago, months ago, back in like July or something when he first appeared in the show, that he was going to be releasing in the Soda Lime, but it was going to be a while. And finally, we're going to be getting him here in January's by 4 for the Revice line. So more or less, he is just kind of a repaint, or I guess re-stickering, because a lot of it's just sticker details, of Kamen Rider Storius from the end of Saber. But you know, the stickers do bring new details to the character and such. And he does have his repaint of the King Arthur sword, which is basically the same mold, but with different stickers and everything. So, not one that was like too terribly difficult for them to make. It's kind of strange that it took them so long. Uh, we are finally going to be getting Kamen Rider Solomon for you Saber fans out there. And then of course for Revice, so there's going to be some new Revice figures out there. And this time it is going to be the Mantis Genome, based off of Kamen Rider Daim. And by 4 is going to have both the Revi and Vice versions of this genome. So it's great whenever we get both of them together and they don't divide it up like they did with Mammoth or anything like that. So yeah, you're going to get both of them here. They talked about how a lot of the Navy detailing, like on Vice and such like that, and on Revi, is like painted on there and everything with a lot of the orange being where the stickers are coming in. You're going to get that bow and arrow thing that they use in this form that is like similar to the Sonic arrow from Kamen Rider Gaim. So it's nice that they're going to be throwing that in there as well. We have not seen the like remix form of this in Soto yet, but obviously I'm sure they're going to do it with some kind of a, you know, pieces in buy four, some kind of special box or something. They did talk about some new pieces that are going to be coming in buy four for the weapons. And this is like the axe part uh, below, that would be below the hand if you were holding the Ohin Buster 50, because we already saw it before, which is kind of pegged in on the top of their hand and there's nothing below. So they are going to give you the little axe piece to complete the look. Same thing with Vice's hammer, you're going to get the little piece to like finish the handle, uh, so you just kind of have a little bit more of a complete look. So those are going to be really, really tiny pieces, but they're going to include them nonetheless. And that's all they really had for new reveals. They did say that the uh, beginning of the year was going to have brand new Soto Chronicle Ryuki information, so I'm assuming probably like the remaining riders that we still need from Soto Chronicle Ryuki. But for the most part, that's all we have for this week's episode of Soto Sundays. So, as always, thank you all for watching, and of course, you can check out other content from me around the Tokusatsu community on YouTube at Toku Topics and Geek Each Week and Soto Pop, and you can follow me on Twitter at Living Ranger Key or at Lightning Fig PR. And until next time, this has been Soto Sundays, Tokusatsu forever.